Yo, what's up, Manipa King? Hello, welcome to another video. And on today's video, it's finally happening. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my settings on Funky Friday, and I'm also gonna do some comments on why I used a specific setting on that game. Okay, so if you guys know someone that wants to know my settings, please share this video with that person and please like the video because it, it, it helps a lot. Okay, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna play some songs here just to help me with the settings, okay? I'm um, just. Okay, okay, let's do it. <clears throat> I'm gonna put Megalovania because it's a very long song. <sighs> let's go, let's do it. And let's start with it, man. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so the first setting we have is hide map. Man, you have. You, you need this option enable, okay? Because on Riffing Game you don't want to play with flag okay so please hide the map and disable all those options right here man toggle expected uh, mode toggle materials shadows props camera movement please disable those options you don't need that okay this option is just gonna make your game lag and like i said you don't want to lag and man a very important one is this one toggle camera movement dude no don't don't use this okay because it keeps moving the 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 camera in the the background let me see if it okay it, it doesn't oh okay you see you see this thing dude it it's a distraction you know and i personally hate it you don't want distraction okay so please disable this option info bar is you know the accuracy the misses the combo and the stuff you you need this i mean it's up to you you know and the open end is pretty much the same so it's up to you if you want it or not and hide spectators is that option uh, you know if there's people around when you're playing you you won't be able to see it and once again those people being around is a distraction and you don't want it okay so please enable that option and you will be good um hide see uh seated players i don't really remember what is that option but i think it's the guy that stay here in the middle um it doesn't really matter because you have the play field you know so you can see it okay arrow speed okay now we get into the arrow speed um i personally used to now you know i use arrow speed too but man i i recommend you testing arrow speeds okay because it's kind of personal you know like um I, I suggest you start with 1.5 yeah use 1.5 and try and play because let me explain you a little bit of it um if you use a slow scroll speed um you're gonna start hitting uh early and it might it might hurt your accuracy but at the same time you have more reaction time you know but if it's too slow the notes will be too much you know close together and it will be hard to read the patterns so for me on this game two is perfect i mean two uh, two speed is perfect but i i suggest you tr you testing from 1.5 to 3 yeah please do it like put 1.5 play two songs and see how you, how it works for you and then change it to 1.6 and then play two songs again and then you know keep going and see which one is the best for you because i used to but maybe for you you can use higher or maybe lower you know it's this failure here is different for pretty much everyone you know so it's all up to you okay arrow size arrow size i use the highest uh, i mean the biggest 1.35 because i like the play field being that big you know because it's more easy to me to understand the notes the patterns and it's more visible you know so i like with i like playing with big arrow size but there's also some people that plays with 0 0.75 and they do good playing it that way you know but i personal i personally don't like it so once again it's up to you man test it you know test 0 0.75 test 1 test 1.35 and see which one works better for you okay but i use 1.35 1.35 yeah so let's let's get you scroll underlay transparency this option put zero okay because if you put zero here the play field will be black in the background you know so it's gonna be it's gonna be more easy for you to read the notes and the game itself you know because if you do something like this 
look how it looks man like you can see the background and you know since i use uh white arrows like circles it it, it makes it a bit more hard to to read the notes so i don't suggest you using one here like zero is the best middle scroll i suggest you using middle scroll because it, it's just better you know like it's in the middle of the the um of the screen you can focus and the the, uh, the play field of you open it's gonna be smaller so you know less distraction better gameplay that's what i think and it's pretty much true yeah open it arrows like it's up to you if you want it or not like i have it enabled but it doesn't like distract me at all you know because it's, it's really small but if you want to disable it just just go for it no problem and health bar is the the thing for deathmatch i guess i i don't use it like i don't really use it i never enable this so it's all up to you guys down scroll i play with down scroll because when i start playing rhythm games i start playing rhythm games of 2006 and the game i started playing was down scroll so i learned the game on down scroll but i just want to mention here that there is no advantage between down scroll and up scroll okay down scroll is not better than up scroll and up scroll is not better than down scroll okay it's just personal preference it's literally 100 personal preference okay so if you play up scroll just stay with it okay you don't have to change it and the same goes to down scroll okay error replication i have this enabled but i think this option doesn't matter at all man so yeah i just have this enabled error side replication yeah enabled color hit accuracy indicators enabled yeah those options aren't it doesn't affect the gameplay that much you know yo this option i had this disabled but i suggest you having this enabled okay because with that option enabled you pretty much can you know can prove that you're not hacking because you can show you tie you hit time and yeah it's pretty much it man like it helps you prove that to someone that you're not hacking that's that's how i see that option okay because there's some people that hacks but they don't have this enable so if you want to prove that you you, you are a legit player and not hacking to someone have this option enabled, okay a, a missing note sound i have it enabled but i hope to you you know i hope to you i mean i, I actually I, don't have it i don't know i don't i don't really know about it because <laughs> i don't pay attention okay okay oh wait let me play let me put the the, the the gameplay again one second okay we're back okay oh okay arrow fader please disable th those options okay you don't want the arrow fader it, it's an effect when you hit a note when you press the the, the keys and i don't like it like it, it's kind of a distraction and i think it's something that you don't want okay so don't use it yeah have this disable and late offset late offset i have zero i don't change it because the way it is on zero is perfect for me okay but if you you can increase to like 30 it's, it's gonna be it's gonna make it more close to get it or maybe minus minus 30 so it's gonna be you know a bit more decent you know it's our personal preference man try some options there and see which one works better for you okay and let's go to my keybinds those ones are not the keybinds i use all the time okay those ones are the keybinds i use for a goatee but the ones i use is a s comma and parrot yeah those are my official keybinds but once again it's pretty much preference and i will i will put some good keybinds on the description of this video so you guys can try it and see if it works better for you okay but yeah my keybinds are these ones okay and the colors are white i use white because it's very easy to to see you know you don't struggle to to see the notes and I'm gonna give a tip here don't use dark colors like black or dark red or dark green dark blue i i don't suggest you guys using those colors because it's gonna be it's just gonna make more hard to read the notes because we already have the the the, the black gameplay you know the back back background here 
so don't use dark colors just use bright ones and it's gonna be more uh, it's gonna be better for your gameplay okay okay good um we are done with this part here okay so yeah i think that's everything actually yeah that's pretty much everything here related to my options and let's jump to that part right here man now we have the no skins yeah and you have arrow circles bars arrows and <laughs> the sussy one and i play with circles and also again back to my when i started playing riff games i started playing with guitar hero and guitar hero is you know circles so circles works better for me i do better on circles because i played with circle no skin my entire life you know but if you came from step mania for example you're gonna do better on arrows so what i what i suggest you doing here is test all those key binds yeah even this one yeah just test like pick this one and play like three songs and then you pick this one and then play three songs and do it with all the, the, the note skin and see which one is better for you which one is you know more comfortable for your eyes which one is better to read the patterns and if you found the best one just stick to it if it's if you're doing good if it's comfortable for you you have no reason to change it okay so just stick to it okay good and i think that's pretty much it yeah that's all the settings i have on fucking friday and now we are gonna get on the tips okay the first tip for accuracy especially on accuracy is my, my main tip is to hit more hard on your keyboard yeah like what do you mean to um pretty much like doing hard taps to on your keyboard like doom, doom. you know hitting more hard <laughs> like because it helps you keep in the rhythm with the song but of course you're not gonna do it all the time because if the map is just being too hard you're not gonna be able to hit very hard on your keyboard because you're gonna lose some speed but on the easy parts you know on, on the parts that you can play it without any problems and you can do it comf uh, with, with some comfy you can do hard taps it's gonna help you stay in rhythm and your accuracy will be, will definitely improve and the second the second tip for you if you want to improve fast on riffing game like this vsrg 4 key man i suggest you playing ozumania yeah ozumania this game is very good it has a bunch of songs and there's a lot of there's a huge like difficult gap like you can find easy maps and extremely hard maps and on my opinion if you want to improve very fast on this type of games you have to play Uzumania. like you can improve on, on funky friday yeah you can definitely do it but i think if you do it on Uzumania, you're gonna do it more fast you know like you can play both at the same time and it's just gonna be a win for you okay and the third one is consistency yes consistency like i used to play this game every day on my try hard days you know on my grind days i used to play every day at least one hour just to keep the the most commander you know just to gun, don't get rust and man this mindset for me worked very well super super good so i think it might work good for you like play the game every day you know you, you, you it's up to you it's up to you uh your your time like i used to play 10 to 12 hours every day but i don't know i think i was just weird because people don't do it you know but i was able to do it but at least one hour one hour is already enough to improve you know <laughs> so yeah it can be two three four hours it's up to you guys man and don't forget please if your hand hurts stop yeah j just stop playing you know if it starts to hurt just stop playing it it's not good it's not worth you know just hurting yourself too much like sometimes we do it a little bit it, it, it's actually important to, <laughs> to to hurt your hands a little bit but 
remember a little bit it, it, you don't want to get any problems with your hands so if it start hurting for real just take a break man stop playing or take two or three days off even a week okay but it, just in case if your hands are hurting or your fingers okay and man i think that's pretty much it dude i think i think that's all i can say to you guys to improve on that game and also yeah my settings so i really hope you guys enjoyed that video and please like and sub helps a lot and i see you guys in the next video bye bye